All right, I'm going to show you guys how to do the uh, DW Paxton plugin, uh, the integration between the Paxton Access Control and DW Spectrum. Um, so to get started, uh, make sure you download the plugin, double click on the plugin, and press run. Accept the license agreement, no problem. Nothing nefarious there, press install. Now you're going to have to wait for Windows to do the whole verification thing, which is the longest part of this process. Press OK, yes. Uh, three to five seconds later, you're going to be done. Uh, go ahead and press finish. Uh, so you can see we've got an access control, a Paxton access control system set up here uh, with three sets of doors, which we'll be adding into the Paxton system. Um, open up your Paxton client, um, the DW plugin, uh, the integration plugin just needs to be done uh, on the client machine for DW Spectrum uh, or the same client that you're machine that you're using for Paxton. Uh, so go ahead and log into Paxton. Um, go up to options, go down to camera integration, and click on it. Um, go to add, and then you can see at the top here we got DW Spectrum there, it's available. Uh, press OK. Um, you got to remember the IP address or the URL for the server that you're connecting to uh, in, the, in the Spectrum system. Um, so, so just to refresh, uh, we can look up here in the the resource tree, and we can see 192.168.1.136 is the server that we want to connect to. Um, in Paxton, they require you to use HTTP as a header, so go ahead and put that in. 192.168.1.136, and don't forget to add the port 7001, which is required. Um, for the username and password, this is the username and password to the DW Spectrum system that you're connecting to. Uh, make sure that you're using a user that has archiving viewing uh, rights. So we're just going to use admin. It's probably better to use your admin if you want to do this, but you can do it with other regular users as well. Um, and then press detect. And if you put everything in correctly, you can see we've got the three cameras that I showed you earlier that are available. Um, and press apply and then click OK. Now you need to assign those cameras to the doors. So if you go to the doors and we go to front door, go to camera integration, add the front door. Don't forget to press apply. All right. If we go to IT room door, um, we see camera integration, IT room door, press apply. And if we go to the side doors and camera integration, side doors, press apply, and you're done. So now the two systems are integrated together. How do we know? Uh, we go to the events section, Paxton here, and if we filter our Paxton events, so we just show the access events just to make it easier, press search. Well, now we can see that uh, we have a whole set of events, and there's a camera icon here next to uh, each event. So if I click on uh, Tony Luce, uh, we launch that, then we will get a pop-up. And in that pop-up, um, you will see the event. Uh, there's usually a five to ten second delay. And there you go. Tony Luce came in the side doors. So that's how you do the Paxton DW Spectrum integration. Uh, really simple plug-in, really fast, really easy to use, and pretty powerful.